the name of Jesus. <laughs> Let's try this again. All right. All right, we're gonna try again. Here we go. Tag some friends. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I'm trying. Here we go. Because it's just acting weird. Invite Maury in because I know you might just want to watch. Oh, Gina. There we go. Just a couple. Sorry, guys. Just seeing if this works. Here we go. Okay. Oh, goodness. All right. Technology at its best. Give it just a minute or two, and then I will start. Okay, good morning. All right, well, it's Monday. I don't know if anybody's gonna come. We'll see. Good morning, good morning. A couple minutes. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Maybe some of you are gonna come in and do this later uh, as kind of a stretch. This would be also a great stretch kind of right before you go to bed too. I like to do that too. It just kind of helps just your body relax and gives you time to really just make yourself stop and breathe. So I'm gonna continue our devotions through our fitness classes has been lately the names of the Lord, uh, just the names of God. And there are so many, we could go on forever, but uh, which is an awesome thing because names are important, especially in the Bible. Uh, it tells you about a person's character. It tells you um, some of what their purpose is, how God designed them, what, their, what God was gonna use them for. Um, and they line up so well. And we have such an awesome God that just doesn't have one name, but has many names. And just it tells us, each name tells us so much about him. So this morning, our uh, name for the Lord is Adonai, which is Lord and Master. Psalm 114, 7 says, Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. So, I don't know if you've ever been undone before the Lord. Have you ever shaken your head in awe at the mere thought of being accepted as holy in his sight? The prophet Isaiah experienced God in his splendor through a vision that left him flat out speechless. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a throne, high and exalted, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him were seraphs, each with six wings. With two wings they covered their faces, with the two they covered their feet, and with the two they were flying. And they were calling to one another. And I, can't, I feel like when I say this, I can't even say this with like the sound that it was going to have in the heavens. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the sound of their voices the doorposts and the thresholds shook and the temple was filled with smoke. Right there tells you what the sound of them just saying, holy, 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 does to the heavens. This is Isaiah speaking. Woe to me, I cried. I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips and I live among a people of unclean lips. And my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. I shudder to think how often I approach the awesome, powerful, holy God without the reverence that is due him. I confess that every fiber of my being should fall before him and shout, I am undone. So much more than I actually do. 
Isaiah's response take, takes us to the place we should be, face down before our holy, royal, heavenly king, our worthy master, our Adonai. And that's just from the devotion that I've been reading that is speaking about that. So as we go through our stretches this morning, I just want to encourage you, within our spirits, let's just fall face down before the Lord. There's going to be a couple times we are literally face down in our stretches, but just in our spirit, just to quiet our spirit before our day really gets going. Let's fall face down before him, worship him, and just become undone. Let go of the stresses that are already filling our minds today and just become undone before him. I'll start this off in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for this day. Lord, thank you for being our Adonai, our Lord and Master. Lord, I know that takes on such meaning and sometimes a fearful meaning because it means of a letting go uh, to hear, to have to, to, not to have to say, but to say Lord and Master about someone to us in our flesh immediately can bring up things um, of rebellion or just not wanting to. Lord, but you are our Lord and Master. You desire for us to see you as holy, holy, holy. You are the Adonai. And that is a good thing. Because we have a God that cares for us and desires for us to respect him and to honor him and to trust him in all things. So I lift up this morning's stretch to you. Lord, I pray that you would touch whatever spirit comes, whatever, whatever person comes to come and watch this and to do this, uh, even if it's just viewing it, Lord, that you would just touch their spirit, Lord, that they would know that you are their Adonai, you are their Lord and Master, you have all things under control, and that when we stretch and move and just give you glory and worship you through this, that that honors you and that brings a smile to your face. And I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Gina. Good morning. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're just going to start in a standing position. So you just want to make kind of what they call a mountain pose. I'm going to be I'm trying to kind of cock myself sideways so you can follow me. But we're just stand hip, feet, um, feet hip width apart. And just start taking some deep breaths. Find your nice firm foundation. Roll your shoulders back and down. Rock your head slowly side to side. If the music could go up, let me know if it's not loud enough for you. So just ride my good morning. Good morning, Gina. Nice slow back. Let me know. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's take nice, roll shoulders back, standing nice, shoulders over hips, nice big deep breath in, and exhale, just come all the way down, kind of swan dive all the way down, just hang here for a minute, you can walk it out, take an inhale, come up halfway, nice straight back, and exhale back down. Just walk it out. Bend those knees back and forth. Another deep breath up. We're just going to repeat that. Exhale, come down. Nice and slow. Walk it out. Inhale up. Halfway. And come back down. Nice big deep breath up. And exhale down. Just do these all morning. Just quieting our hearts this morning. Giving them over to Adonai, our Lord. 
our downward dog. So we're pushing our hips back and up. If you need to bend your knees, a little bit less impact on your back. That's fine too. We're pushing our hips up and just walking out. Just do that for a few minutes. Let me know if the music is okay. It's good. Thank you. Just walk that out. Check their shoulders. They're not way up here in our ears. Push those back. Just walking that out. Okay, we're going to plant both of our feet. Let's plant that left foot. We're going to bring the right foot up nice and slow. We're not going to swing it open. We're going to keep our hips facing forward, basically. The same line. Your toe is pointed down. And then we're going to slowly bring it up into a runner's lunge. And just hold it here. Rock it back and forth. Nice little stretch for our legs, your knee over your ankle. And then we're going to drop that back knee. Take a nice big deep breath up. Find that balance. Your hips are still straight. Core is engaged. Bring your arms up. We're just going to kind of slowly just move back and forth. You can bring your arms down to prayer position. Really working on opening that hip flexor. If you're not feeling a nice stretch there along the front of your left hip, whatever back leg you have there on the ground, kind of you can walk your foot forward a little bit. A little bit more of a stretch in there. This is a great stretch if you're going to be sitting for a while. Our hips are just always so tight. So we're breathing in and out. Just holding that, coming up and down. And then we're going to come back down our hands on our inside. We're going to stand up with our back leg. We're going to kind of bring that up so that we can make a kind of like a pyramid with our legs. Both of them are stretched and we're just going to hold that. Whether you're touching the ground or you're up here. Setting both and just lean into that stretch. A nice long stretch. You're feeling it from the top of your leg all the way down. The farther you stretch, the more you'll feel it. Both feet are facing forward. Inhale and exhale. Just hold it for a few seconds. Okay, bend that front knee a little bit, and we're going to bring those legs back to the back, back to the downward dog. I'm going to bring that opposite leg up. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Exhale, bring that leg down. Get that runner's lunge. You have to wiggle your legs like I do with my long legs. You can do that. Just rock it back and forth. Drop that leg in the back. that stretch and slowly just pulse it back and forth not feeling it again walk that front foot foot forward trying not to talk too much because the music alone is just such a ministry Let's minister our spirits. Come down. We're going to come and do that pyramid, bringing our back foot up, stepping it up just a little bit. And now if we're in a comfortable pyramid shape, you can come up and get more stable if you need to. And bring it back down. 
We all have a wobblier side. I think this is my wobblier side. However far down you can stretch, get a nice good stretch. Inhale and exhale. Bring your hands back to the inside if they're not already there. And bring that foot back, back to that downward dog. Just walk it out. Pushing the heels down to the floor. Shoulders out of your ears. I'm talking to myself here. Core is still engaged. Pushing those hips up. Okay, now we're just going to rock down into a plank. Just going to hold it for just a second and then lower ourselves down. Nice inhale. Exhale, bring yourself up to an upward dog. Just pushing. If you're right here, if you're more comfortable, what they call a cobra, right here, that works too. This is an awesome stretch. I kind of call this like a McKenzie stretch for sciatics. Just inhale and exhale. Come down. Curl your feet back up and we're going to push up and back up into our downward dog. We're going to do that two more times. Into the plank we go. Lower your snow. Inhale and exhale. Rock your shoulders back. Relax your glutes. Stretch that out. Breathe. Curl your toes. Lift to your core. And here we go. Back up to downward dog. One more time. Rock forward into your plank. Lower yourself down. Inhale up. Exhale. Release those glutes. I immediately engage like my glutes and my legs. Relax those. Inhale, curl those toes under. Lift up into your downward dog. Let's plant the left foot, bring your right foot up. We're gonna go into pigeon. So we're gonna swing our leg up and forward. Let me swing around for you. So a pigeon, we should be forward with our leg back like this, up out of our hip. But if that's not comfortable for you, you can bring that back leg up so they're back both turn. Still gonna get a nice stretch in your in your hips, and we're stretching that outer, they call it the piriformis muscle. And the pigeon right here. Or this is this is just really uncomfortable for you. Another way to do pigeon too is to sit back, put your ankle up on your knee, get your bottom as close to your heel as you can, and you'll get the same kind of stretch right here, on the outside of your leg. We're going to hold that. This whole time we should be holding it. Hips facing forward, not sitting back on that hip, coming up. Really feel that muscle. And lay down just for a minute. You can stay here, you can stay up, or come all the way down. I'm going to hold this for just a minute. This is a good stretch. We're talking about Adonai being our Lord and Master. Just Isaiah was saying. Kind of, who am I to come before such a holy God? Do we feel unworthy? Let's pull your toes under. Your back leg there, we're going to come up into our pigeon, out of our pigeon, back into downward dog. 
or lift the other leg, take it way up, open that hip, and bring it down into pigeon, whatever pigeon position you feel comfortable in. Think about the Lord. Think of him as Lord Master. Kind of, it reminds me of Paul in Romans 7, where it's like, I don't understand it. I know what to do. I know what I want to do. I just don't do it. And the things that I know I don't want to do, that I shouldn't be doing, Come down into your stretch a little bit more. If you're sitting up and doing this stretch, get closer to your heel. Push into that heel a little bit more. Or push out on the knee. Open it up some more. But Paul says, I know what I'm supposed to be. Basically, I know what I'm supposed to be doing, but I don't do it. And the things I know I'm not supposed to do, I do them. Thank God for the for the people in those characters, people in the Bible that God gives us to that are examples that we're not perfect. Only God is. That's why we need a Lord and Master to show us the way. Apart from God, we aren't holy. Curl your toes. Come back up into your. Downward dog. We're going to walk our hands back towards our feet. Slowly come up. I'm going to walk to the middle. You can stay where you are. I'm going to turn your feet out. Take a nice big deep breath up. And we're going to squat down. You can come down as far as you're comfortable with. I'm going to show you a position. It's called frog. It's kind of a weird position, but it is such a good stretch. Sometimes it takes a little work to get there. A stretch for your hip flexors. Just to release your tailbone, the end of your back. You can be right here. You can be right here. Just opening in those stretches. Trying to keep your feet a little bit further apart if you're not going to go all the way down so your knee doesn't go over your toes. Just coming down, just holding that prayer position, whatever place you're at, just stretching. You could even be seated and just kind of, and now it's weird doing this on Facebook. Here we go. Just opening those hips. But it's so important. I'm learning it is so important. Stiffness and just hold it here. Deep breath in. God so loved us that He gave us His Son so that through Him, through the blood that was shed, God sees us as holy and worthy and that we can come to Him just as we are, in faith. Okay, we're going to come up. We're going to sit on our bottom here. Indian style, however you're comfortable. Nice deep breath in. Up, hands overhead. Exhale, come down. We're just going to do a nice long stretch here. Look up to the heavens. Nice and stretch, really stretch your fingertips here. Inhale up and over. Stretch a little bit further down, really stretching that side. Reaching up. 
that quite a bit. But that's where our faith kicks in. But when I was going over this, bring our feet together. However close you can get, we're going to turn our, the bottoms of our feet in. Sit kind of, it's called a butterfly. I'm just going to open up those hips. You can walk your hips towards your feet. Or pull them towards you. It can be way up here or try to push them down. Now these positions may seem a little weird, but as I do them more and more, it's such a fun thing to see, like positions that I thought, there's no way I can do that, or I'm so stiff here. My legs used to be way up here. <laughs> now I can get them. I still can't get them flat, but that's okay. Open up our hip flexors here. Lean a little bit forward into it. Feel a little bit more of a stretch here. comes to Adonai as our Lord and Master, it's an area of surrender. Come over to our tabletop, which means on your hands and knees, knees over hips, hands, your wrists are under your shoulders, and we're just going to do a couple cat and cows. We're going to inhale and drop our belly and look up. Exhale. Arch your back like a cat. Inhale. You know what, however you're breathing with these, inhaling and exhaling, it works. One more. Up to the cat. We're going to take our right hand out and our left leg out. So opposite leg to your hand. Just stretch them out. Point your toes, point your fingers. Really just stretch. Now inhale and exhale, bring them in. Inhale, stretch them. And exhale, bring them in. One more. Come back to 
tabletop. Rock back and forth. Just a little bit. Do the other side. Opposite hand to opposite foot. Stretch them nice and far out. Really stretch. This is a stretch. Let's go. <laughs> I see you guys commenting. I can't see. I see it, but I can't see it. Inhale, exhale, in. And exhale. One more. Back to tabletop. There we go. So now we're going to come back to child's pose. Connect your toes, your big toes together, and put your legs, your knees out wide, and sit back in your hips. If that's not comfortable for you, you can have your knees together and still be doing child's pose, leaning back. So let's sit back. Just really stretch out, walk your fingertips forward. Open up those chest, that, your, the shoulder blades in the back. Breathing in and out. Really stretch it out. Inhale and walk your hands over to the right, making sure your hips are staying flat. When you go over to the right, if your left hip is coming up, rock that back a little bit. Sitting back. You should have nice, feel a nice stretch in your side. Inhale, walk back to the middle, we're going to do the other side. But as I was saying, as I did this devotion, I was thinking, well, the Holy Spirit said, you know, are there areas in your life where I'm not your Adonai? I'm not your Lord and Master. Hold this position right here. Do I allow him to be Lord and Master over my relationships with my friends, with my family, with my, in my marriage? Do I let him direct me and guide me, or do I like to do it on my own? Inhale, come back to center. You can bring your knees together if they're apart. Bring your hands back to the back and just lay forward. And just hold this position right here. If you want to, there's a position called rabbit. You come up to the top of your forehead and hold it here. We'll just rock that. I want you to roll over onto your back. We're just going to get into a surrendered position, just laying down flat on your back. And one big stretch for you. Just put your arms all the way back, stretch them out, and then let everything just fall to the side. Bring your legs apart, let your feet fold out. Let your arms drop to the side. I want you to stay there. Or if you're more comfortable sitting up, just find a comfortable position. You can just sit. Just for a couple more minutes, we're just gonna breathe. Now we got started a little bit later this morning. a little bit about more uh, find your position where you're just letting go relax so do a body scan from your head down to your toes is there anywhere that you're tight if you're laying down or even seated are your shoulders tense let them loose just let them fall down out of your ears relax them curl your fingers in and out 
and just let them fall open. Let your toes just fall out and just relax. Just listen to, I'm just going to read this and then I'll listen to the music. Adonai is a Hebrew name for God, meaning master, ruler, owner, and Lord. It is a generic term for the Lord in Hebrew. It is first seen in scripture when Abraham, longing for an heir, cries out to God in Genesis 15, 2. O oh Lord God, what will you give me? For I continue to be childless. And the heir of my house, uh, and the heir of my house is Eleazar of Damascus. Abraham called out to God at his, as his master. He looked to him in prayer through confusing circumstances. He connected his hopes to Adonai and revered him as the one who held the answers to life in his hands. You and I should do the same. When we accept God as our master, our sovereign over all, then he becomes greater and we become less. So it's just as you're laying here, Breathing in, nice, big, deep breath. Fill that belly. And I know I've said it many of times. You can even if you watch my dog breathe, they fill their belly and fill their lungs. And we've lost that rhythm of breathing. We're running around, doing all these things, just breathing from our lungs. Fill your belly, deep breath, taking count, try to do a count of five. Breathing in, one, two, three, four, five. And then exhaling, out, five. Just bring yourself, just quiet your spirit. the Lord to show you if there's areas in your life where you're not allowing him to be your Lord and Master. You're at his, allowing him to be Adonai in your life. We do come to you with nothing. We have nothing to bring. Because it is just, it is through you, through the blood of your son that was sacrificed for us, that we can come before you. Father, Lord God, 
feel so unworthy to say, but I know that you are, and I know that in my faith, I can boldly come before the throne of God and say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of your glory. Lord God, I lift this day up to you. Lord, I, just forgive us of the times that we have not allowed you to be Adonai in our lives. Show us, Lord. Dig deep in our spirit and our soul and show us where you, we have not allowed you to be. Lord and Master over our life. It's not something you lord over us. It's not something that you hold over us. We aren't your little puppets. Lord, it's an act of love and reverence, Lord, and a comfort for us to know that we have a God that is in control of all things. We don't have to control things. And even in this world where things are just chaotic, we don't know what to believe. Lord, if we, Adonai is still... Uh, still in control. The whole earth is still full of your glory. I thank you for this time, Lord. I thank you for Mondays on the mat. That we can just slow, slow down and be still and move our bodies that you have created in honor, for your honor and for your glory. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thanks everybody for watching. That's all. Bunch of people come in. Oh, let's do him. Kelly, hi Kelly. Pamela Taylor. Hello. Good morning, everybody. So thank you for watching. Have a blessed Monday, everybody. Gina, oh hey. Yes, I hope if even if you guys came in later um, and you just you know didn't get to do it, you can always come back. It will be on there. Uh, it's a great evening stretch, too. So <laughs> I will see you guys maybe Wednesday. I make the stretch. Hey, Gina, you know what? I'm telling, like I said earlier, when I first started doing this, uh, I was running through this yesterday and I, I went to one of the ones I did and I was probably that frog squat thing. I was thinking, I could not have done this even like probably a couple months ago. It's like each time you do it more and more, you're like, oh wow, that went like my leg went further or I did that and it's, <laughs> It's a good thing. Our, our muscles just need to go, you know, they want that. They want that stretching and stuff. So it's a good thing. Just keep going. You're doing, if you're doing anything, Gina, we're doing it right, right? So miss you guys. We'll see you later. Have a good day.